Hey everybody, welcome back to The Hunt. I'm Trish, thanks for joining us tonight. I'm really excited to introduce my next guest to you. Um, he is just an incredibly special human being and I've uh, had the fortune of um, knowing him for just about a year now and I'm so grateful for the opportunity. You're gonna understand why in a minute. His name is Lance Ware. Lance, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Oh my gosh, my pleasure. So Lance um, is a challenged athlete and uh, we met um, during an event for an organization called the Challenged Athletes Foundation and the Million Dollar Challenge uh, last year. And I'll just sidebar this with his almost Libra season and <laughs> Lance and I are fellow Libras. Uh, but um, so Lance, let's just dive in because you know on this show, you know, we talk about positive, inspiring, encouraging stories um, that really hit home with, you know, not everything in life is gonna go the way that you expect it to go. But in those moments, you have a choice, we all have a choice to choose how we respond to those moments, right? And so we talk a lot about, you know, from being in a place of feeling stuck to really becoming the best version and unstoppable you know, version of yourself. So let's just start with your story and, uh, and just take us on that journey. Okay, um, yeah, 1993, I was 21 years old. Um, I was canoeing on a river that I grew up on. Uh, it was a really hot day. Um, the canoe got lodged on a rapid. Uh, I got out of the canoe, unlodged it. I dropped my hat in the water to cool off. Um, I leaned in head first to retrieve it and I made a bad choice and doing that um, I shattered my C5 vertebrae which uh, resulted in instant paralysis not only my uh, legs but um, part of my arms as well um, so yeah the, the next few years um, were extremely tough for me um, I had a loving family I have an incredible community um, but I went back to a just in a spot that, um, yeah, I was just, I was lacking some resources and some opportunities. And, um, and so I fell into a, a deep state of depression and um, which led to, you know, addiction and, and also led to just, you know, the thoughts of not wanting to be here anymore. Um, luckily, that changed. And uh, I ended up out here in California um, because of a dog. Uh, and uh, saved my life and uh, because of that uh, that move I connected with Challenged Athletes Foundation and uh, just since then my life's been incredible and yeah, I'm just really thankful and blessed and, and lucky to be to be sitting here and telling you about it. That's amazing I mean, I'm literally shaking right now just thinking of that image of you in the canoe because I mean, how many times do we all just go out and take for granted, you know, the things that we like to do, whether it's, you know, run, you know, canoe, hike, you know, whatever it is. And just in a split moment, something like that could happen. So if you go back to 1993, 1993 yeah. and were you alone? No, I was oh, with a Thank group goodness. Of friends. Okay. Yeah. And did you just hit? A shallow. Yeah, I chose part? the wrong spot. I hit a rock, um, and it shattered instantly. Just exploded the C5 vertebrae in my neck. Um, I uh, was luckily pulled from the river. Mm -hmm. um, thank goodness, and uh, and then ultimately flown to Memphis, Tennessee, where I was in a trauma center for for some time. So, can you just help describe for us, just uh, as you? realize then you know what was happening and you come out of the trauma center and you okay, now you're you're paralyzed for life right yeah and just a few days earlier you were just a regular 23 year old kid yeah um yeah i was in the marine corps reserves i had uh Amazing. previously a few months earlier um attempted to walk on to my college football program i was just a, i was an active you an active 21 year old oh, um, and then um, instantly I was having to ask for people to help me with a drink of water and brush my teeth. I couldn't um, move my arms for, for months and um, yeah, it was just, uh, I was so scared that, that my life was over mm. and I thought that for a long time. 
um, and I was afraid that I was going to be um, remembered by a moment. Um, ultimately, I, I told myself, you got to somehow fix that and don't be remembered for that single moment, but re be remembered for something else. That's amazing. I mean, did you, did you feel like that moment came just from within or were you triggered by something? Did you read something or something happened? What I always say, like the six inches between our ears yeah. really makes the difference in our, in our lives, right? So was there a moment? I had reached rock bottom. I was, okay. I was as low as you could go. And I knew that if I didn't change uh, my perception and my ways that I wasn't gonna be here much longer. Mm. And, and I, again, I just didn't wanna be remembered for, for that one moment. Um, and thank goodness I was able to make that switch and try to do something that, that was, uh, that'd be memorable, that would be honorable, that would uh, maybe help change lives. And your family, obviously, we're, we're right there with you. And then when you when you decided to come out to California, um, did you come out alone or did you have a support system? I, I did come alone. My mom made the trip with me and okay. helped me made an adjustment for about a month. Um, yeah, I just I applied for a job um, through Canine Companions for Independence. Um, I knew then that whenever I was here receiving my first dog, that I was a part of something extremely special. And I had finally found something that I wanted to be a part of and wanted to do. So it motivated me to finish college, nice. um, to, uh, to move out to California 14 years post-injury. Um, and I didn't even have any idea I was going to do it. I didn't have caregivers. I didn't have medical. I just knew that I had to make this move or, you know, it had to be done. Wow. I mean, it's so inspirational because, you know, I think we can all just start to feel sorry for ourselves, you know, and get into ruts. So your story is so inspirational because with, with the limitations that you are now faced with, you still proved that just through having a sense of purpose and having a strong, you know, mental capacity can move you down a different path and it can be the difference between life and death. Most definitely. Yeah, that's, that was my story for sure. And, uh, you know, I've been fortunate to be surrounded by some incredible people um, that continue to to make differences in my life and motivate me to be better um, by watching, you know, everybody around me. I'm like, I have to do more. I'm not doing enough. That's incredible because I think you make people feel that way too. Um, and so, are you still associated with the the canine um, companions? Companions. Yeah, canine companions will always be. A part of my life, yeah. It uh, it's an incredible organization, just like Challenged Athletes Foundation. I love talking about both of them. Um, I just want everybody to know about both of them. So and, bad. and is the K9? We're going to get into Challenged Athletes in a minute, but is K9? Is the K9 um, Foundation? Is that national? It is. Yeah. It's a national nonprofit. They actually invented the concept of a, a dog helping somebody outside of blindness. Really. So they they are the standard, the gold standard for service dog organizations and they set the bar and they continue to do that every day and and my story is just one of thousands. Um, yeah, they do incredible work. That's amazing. So they work with the challenged individual yeah. and they pair you up with the right fit dog. They do. Yeah. Yeah, they follow you, they know your story, your routine, your lifestyle and they're essentially matchmakers. Because <laughs> they have been following this puppy that they've uh, had for, you know, eight since eight weeks old. They've been receiving puppy reports, so oh, they know what kind of dog that is and how it's going to fit in certain uh, scenarios. And so they, they, yeah, they match dogs and people. It's incredible. It really is incredible yeah. because I mean I've met, I've had the pleasure to meet your dog, and yeah. just the sweetest, sweetest thing. So it's yeah. not here today with us, but no. um, so do you volunteer for them? I do. I, Moved out here and I worked with them for two years and then I served on their board for right. 10 and then I came back and filled another position which um, really meant a lot to me was their um, veterans liaison. Uh, one of the biggest things about Canine Companions for Independence is it actually reconnected me to the Marine Corps which was something that I lost on August 8, 1993. Um, so to be able to reconnect and get that back in my life uh, was very special. 
Yeah, I think again, it goes back to, I mean, everything you're talking about to me is like that higher purpose of, okay, I'm here, I'm physically here, you know, yes. for as long as, you know, I'm, I'm allowed to be, right. um, but how can I make a difference? How can I uh, really show purpose and value, you know, in, in my life? 100%. I, being happy is as simple as a choice. Yes. Oh my gosh. Uh, and uh, it took me a while to figure that out, but thank goodness. I did, and um, yeah, just. It's fascinating, so don't go anywhere. We've got a lot more to talk about, so when we come back, um, we're gonna dig into Challenge Athletes. So hang in there, everybody, with us. I'm with Lance Ware, Challenge Athlete, and uh, just a phenomenal human being. Um, we'll be back in a minute. I'm Trish, you're watching The Hunt.